Hi guys, it's Dakota. Hope everybody's doing well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy uh, your time here. And if you already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Um, I don't get paid for YouTube. I don't ever plan on getting paid for YouTube. I just love to see the numbers going up. It makes me feel really, really good. Um, so yeah, so thank you. I do appreciate that. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the word intentions in magic specifically or in your spiritual practice. Um, there are a lot of spiritual uh, groups. There's, you know, witchcraft, Norse paganism, um, even Buddhism, meditation, whether you work with, you know, crystal grids or just anything that you do where you have an intention that you are trying to manifest or that you are trying to release. Uh, there's usually, I would hope, an intention behind it, right? I mean, you have to have an intention behind whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're trying to manifest something or you're trying to release something. There's, a, there's an intention as to what it is that you're doing and why. So that's what I want to talk about today. Um, I will say this, that um, it's been sort of a pet peeve of mine a little bit about writing intentions, specifically writing your intentions on a bay leaf and then doing whatever with that bay leaf, whether it's burning, which is probably the most common. Some people will write their intention on a bay leaf and, you know, release it in a water source or bury it, whatever. Um, and that is absolutely fine. Whatever you feel is right for you. I'm just, I think it's funny that bay leaf became a thing for writing intentions. I think that a lot of your books for like beginner books for people that are just starting on their path, again, whatever path that is, uh, spiritual path, uh, I think I'm going to kind of lean more towards witchcraft because that is my path and that's what I know. Um, so I'm going to lean a little bit more to that, but you can use this however you need to. Um, but so the beginner books, the books that are for, for, for beginners, not beginner books, but the books that are for, for beginners, for seekers, and that's a whole huge, huge category of witchcraft, Norse paganism, I mean, everything, everything, crystals, herbs, oils, you name it, it's, it's everywhere, Buddhism, uh, Druidism, uh, the list is forever, right? The list is forever long because we have to start somewhere. And so I appreciate the authors that write the uh, the books based on those that are seeking and, and trying to learn. I, I appreciate that. Also, there's the internet. Also, there's uh, people that do videos. Hello. Um, there's, you know, the social media, the internet, all of that. There's bloggers. There's um, podcasters, all kinds of things now where we can get information. And so that's really a good thing. However, I'm going to put a warning label on that. I, I really think there needs to be a warning label on that. Um, and so some of that is going to be covered in today's uh, talk. Now, I do have my notes here, and I'm going to be referring to them. And uh, so if you see me doing this, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Um, so let me just start by saying that, again, there are a lot of uh, books out there and and all the things that I just mentioned that have um, ideas and and ways to do your magical practice. So, and one of the things, and, and I just kind of get a little chuckle out of it. Um, and one of the things is, you know, writing your intention on a bay leaf. And let me just use candle magic because I am uh, a fire practitioner. I'm an air sign, but air feeds fire. Don't forget that. <laughs> um, that is my main source. I, I Fire is everything for me. And um, maybe it's because I am a Gemini. I'm an air sign, but I'm summer girl, and I like warmth. Maybe that's why. <laughs> anyway, um so that's what I'm going to use. All right. So here's a common thing. Uh, there's two. I own a metaphysical store, by the way, if you're new here, I do own a metaphysical store 
and I teach, we teach classes, tarot, we do Reiki. I mean, there's the whole gamut, everything. And we have all the things that a metaphysical store would have. I would imagine, you know, the candles, the herbs, the oils, the incense, books, you name it, statues, rocks, all the things, right? We have all the things. Okay. So, um, <laughs> but one of the things that really tickles me is this thing about writing your intention on a bay leaf. So I don't know, I, I'm assuming that that's coming across through some of these books that are uh, for beginners, seekers, start, people that are just starting out. And, um, and again, I, I, I don't care that you're using a bay leaf, you know, and I don't care that that's what they say. But here, there are two common things, common, I mean, like every day at my store, we have people that ask us about money spells and love spells. Those are the two most common. And then there's other things, healing, focus, clarity. You know, there, there are other things, but those are the two most popular, money and love, either attracting love or breaking up, you know, separation. So let's just take money and, uh, people have heard because when they come in they come in with a statement and then they ask a question which i find um kind of nice <laughs> i mean that you you already got an answer but you come to us for, for validation for you know just to make sure that you're doing it right because you're new and and so i appreciate that i think that's nice but they'll, they'll come in with the statement, I saw a video or I read a book and it said to attract money or wealth, um, you take a green candle and you write money on a bay leaf and then you burn it. Okay, so I have a lot to say about those types of things. I don't have time on the video to get to it, but if you watch my channel and you watch some of the videos on specific things, you'll see I am adamant. I, I am a firm believer in not just reading one book and going, oh, well, the book says take a green candle and write money on the bay leaf and light it and then send it out again there's a lot to that money could be you walk out the door and find a nickel well you got what you wanted right you got the nickel that that was your thing but it's not about what you get well it is <laughs> and the, the long the, the the end result is about what you get but I, I keep going back to this word intention and bay leaves. Now, a friend of mine, and I have said this on one of my videos before, I don't know which one, but um, a friend of mine, we, we kind of, we were talking about spell work and just different things one day. And we were talking about, it was kind of funny that, you know, you write your intention on a bay leaf and, you know, you either burn it or drown it or bury it or whatever you feel that you need to do with it. And I said, you know, I just find that kind of funny because I can just see the universe, you know, wherever the universe is, it's everywhere going, well, here comes, here comes another Bailey, <laughs> you know, it's just, it just kind of cracks me up. So my, dis again, this disclaimer is not agreeing with or not agreeing with. I'm just talking about my thoughts. Uh, and I have my notes here, and that's why I keep doing this. I think I already said that. So, but the customers will come in, and they come in with that statement, but yet it's a question. This is what I heard. Is that right? And they ask things like, how do I do that? Or what, what should I use for an intention? What should I say? Like, do I just say money? I mean, you know, they said the book said, or the person said that I should use a bay leaf to write it on a bay leaf. So, I mean, do you feel like you should write it on a bay leaf? And is one word going to be the entire intention? 
because for me, intention, I, I, I think that, you know, that I think that people that give advice and the books and all of that, I mean, we, we only have a few, you know, well, we have a lot of choices, but we, some, depending on where you live and, and what you, you know, where, what your background is and who your friends and family are and all of that, it really depends on what you can do, right? And who you can ask and things like that. I get it. I understand that. Um, so I think that, you know, a lot, I think it is good advice. I mean, they're, they're giving you good advice. Um, but, you know, I, I also think that a lot of that is, is kind of scam talk because you don't just get a green candle. And you don't just write money on it and on a bay leaf and and burn it and uh think that you know you're you're going to get that that's a quick fix um maybe you will because maybe luck had something to do with that but also the consequence of that could be not so good you know i mean Again, I, I just am not going to go into that, but I'm just saying that the consequence of, of that just writing money uh, also could, like I said, you can go out and maybe there's a nickel on the ground. Hey, you got what you asked for. Money. That's money. Or it could be something really that is not pleasant. Um, and, and it could be something as, as bad as you just put money and you got it. Someone, someone just passed away and you got an inheritance. Okay. Well, that isn't what I meant. I didn't mean, I didn't mean for that. No, because you weren't specific. You weren't specific. So our, our intentions have to be extremely specific. Very, they, they should be very detail, detailed. You should think about what it is you want, why you want it. What items do you want to work with? And, um, what then would be the end result? What is the end result that you're looking for? And what are the consequences of that end result? And the big thing is, is making the sacrifice to get it. So again, you know, if you, if you want money, how much money do you want? And, oh, just, you need a hundred dollars. Okay. Well, you you did the work and you, you really you researched it and you did the work and whatever but what was the sacrifice i mean did you just sit at the door waiting for that hundred dollar bill to fly in the door i mean did you maybe ask your neighbor if you could mow their lawn and go grocery shopping for them and you know drive them to work for a week or whatever it was uh for the hundred dollars did you did you do the work did you make the sacrifice? I believe that true wholeheartedly. Now, <laughs> um, perhaps just lighting the green candle and putting money on there. Hey, if that's what the person said and, and it worked for them, then maybe it would work for you because I'm not the universe. So I don't know. Maybe that would work for you. I believe in doing the work. I believe in, I believe in letting the universe know or what, whoever, whatever you work with, the gods, the spirit guides, whatever it is that you work with. I believe in letting it know that this is how serious I am. I'm serious enough to take the time to research it, to figure it out, to make sure that I'm writing it down on a piece of, you know, paper, Everything, the details, the what's, the why's, the how comes, da, 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 all of that stuff. Um, because I do kind of think that it's it's sort of, um, you know, uh, kind of scamming. You know, it's that, that quick fix, uh, quick witch, quick witch magic. <laughs> um, or as one of my elder mentors said once, that's wish wishcraft. <laughs> You don't practice witchcraft. You practice wishcraft. But you know what? That stuck. I mean, I was like, whoa, that was heavy. Um, because it's like blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. Make a wish. Think about it. 
and blow out your candles. It was sort of that same thing on this project that I was doing, this magic magical working that I was doing, and I was asking for some advice, and that's what they said. And I I I went wishcraft. Wow, <laughs> that's that was do the work. You've got to put in the time, the effort, the research, the study, writing it out. Well, gee, if I you know, if I wish for this amount, dollar amount, who's that going to affect? You know, is it going to affect somebody in your family or a friend or, you know, um, there, there's, there's just, there's consequences to everything that we do. And, and we just have to kind of think about, and the consequences can be fantastic. Yay. Great news. But, um, it can also be not so healthy, right? So you got to think about that. You have to think about the um, the education and you know and why are you doing it? You know, like why why are you doing the money spell? Are you is it greedy? Like are you being greedy? Like oh, I I need you know I I found this really cute outfit and and I just don't have the money. Okay, well do you really need the outfit? I mean, do you really need it? You know so. There, there's just things that you have to think about. I'm not saying that you can't do magic for that new outfit. Sure you can, absolutely. But we think it out, think it out, figure it out. You got to, you have to figure it out. That being said, how do you write all that on a bay leaf? How do you do that? Now, I don't like the smell of dried, burning dried herbs. Um, when I make my incense, like my dried herb, herb incense, I always add resins or <laughs> sometimes and or oils because I don't like the smell of just burning herb. I, I, I just don't like it. It doesn't smell inviting to me. So when I become spirit... <laughs> Um, and that would be one way to keep me away is to just burn dried herbs because I don't like it. Add some incense or <laughs> add some, uh, resin or some oils, you know, something that makes it smell pretty. I like pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, there just has to be that, uh, that reason, you know, that reason that you're doing it. Um, and you know, on that subject, having, having all the herbs, having all the crystals, having all the, having all the candles, having all the tarot cards, having all this, all of that stuff doesn't make you a witch. It doesn't make you a witch. What makes you a witch is time, work, patience, work, doing the work, <laughs> researching the work, and then having the patience, the, the end result is having the patience of your work. Because sometimes the universe, spirit, who, whatever, source you want to use they might have something else in mind for you perhaps now is not the time for me to uh even if you've sacrificed you know even if you did whatever may not be the right time for you to to receive that um and then that becomes a lesson what is the lesson in that like the new outfit you know, um, you did the work, you, you got the money somehow, you know, you, you manifest, you forgot that the guy across the street owed you $50, forgot all about it. And he comes and gives you, he or she comes and gives you the $50. Now I got the money and you can go buy what it is that you wanted. You didn't need it, but you wanted it. And then lo and behold, you forgot to pay your cell phone bill and now there's a late charge and you don't have it 
but you have a new outfit <laughs> you're wearing it and it looks great but you don't have the $50 to pay your late fee and now your phone's going to get turned off sometimes things don't work out as we want them to so that is another reason why you have to be so specific and that is another reason why how does that all fit on a bay leaf <laughs> You know, um, now I am notorious. If I want to write an intention, usually I'll write a sentence and I use brown paper bags. I, we have, uh, that's what I use in my store. We, we have, um, you know, brown paper bags because they're recyclable and all of that stuff. And, um, I just rip pieces off of it. It doesn't have to be cut. It doesn't have to be pretty. I just tear a piece off and I will write a sentence to the best of my ability using my keywords and I've already researched it and studied the intention and then I try to the best of my ability to write that down on that, that paper um, if I'm going to do that. If I'm actually going to write an intention because guess what my intention is in the work that I did so you don't need all the stuff you don't need the herbs the crystals the you know the candles you, you don't need all of those things those things are our tools and those things help us focus and they make us feel magical I love candle magic I love it and I my second choice is herbs I love herbs i love gardening i summer i love being outside it's hot i don't like the humidity i love putting my hands and my bare feet in the dirt i love it i we i live in the woods i love walking in my woods i love the smell i love everything i love earth i love herbs so uh it's doing the work i'm putting my intention into that and that is why in candle magic a lot of times not 100 percent a lot of times most times you'll hear people talk about dressing your candle you have to dress your candle that would be putting oil that is specific to your intention what is it that you're trying to do um using herbs using resins using earth using whatever it is that you want to put on that candle or in the candle or around the candle and then writing your intentional manuscript is what i call it you know it's my intentional manuscript um but while i'm doing all of that while i'm creating the candle while i'm creating mixing the herbs i don't do this i'm in it i'm putting my intention in it i'm asking my guides going to use that word. I'm asking my guides. I'm asking the universe. I'm telling the universe what I want, what I need, whatever it is. I'm putting it in there. What I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, all of those things. Um, it's in the work. I don't need to write on a bay leaf. Don't need to. I don't need to write on my paper bag. Don't need to. So I would say it's rare that I do that. I might do it at a ritual if we're having a ritual. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. And I still do it. I still do it personally sometimes. But not every time. Because my intention is in my work. And it is in what I've written about my intention. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, intention is everything. It, it, it's it's your intention is everything um you have to have an intention um for what it is that that you know you're doing the work for so absolutely you you absolutely need to have an intention and it needs to be specific it needs to be specific um if you know i can ha and i wrote this i can have i can intend 
to do something all day and never do it. I don't have to, I don't do the work. I intended to do that, but I didn't. If I don't do something about it, it doesn't get done. There you go. Um, you know, that, that intention isn't going to go anywhere. I, I intended for this last year to clean this room. <laughs> I'm still working on it. But there's days I'm like, you know what? I'm going to work on my room today because I intend to do it, but I get sidetracked. I don't feel like it. I don't want to. Well, then tomorrow it's going to look the same. Next week it's going to look the same. Next month, next year, three years from now. If I don't get in here and do the work, if I don't take the action, it's going to be the same. It's not going to work. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to still be sitting here collecting dust. So with intention comes work, comes action. You have to. You have to do that. And all of that stuff I'm telling you does not fit on a bay leaf, nor does it fit on a little piece of, you know, paper um let's see uh i i wrote this down which you know quick quick spells is there a quick spell perhaps you know perhaps there's a quick spell i would say that you know i, I would ask you this question a quick spell can you define quick <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean by quick? Do you mean like, as soon as you light the flame? Do you mean like that? I mean, or do you mean within the next day or the next week? Like, what is quick to you? Because what is quick to you might be something different to me. So, a quick spell. I can't identify that. I, I can't, I can't do that. You want to put a date on it? Good luck with that. It may work, but it may not work. Uh, the universe may think something else is quick, not that. So again, it's all about being specific. Um, I had a, uh, I had a, we had a contractor and something needed to be done. Oh, that's easy. That, that won't take long at all. Six months later, because there was no time limit, that's not going to take long at all. Well, six months wasn't long to him. When he said that won't take long at all, I'm thinking a day or two, you know, uh, there were no specifics. I didn't ask him six months later. I'm still like, <laughs> get done, you know, uh, but that was, that was quick to him. So, um, so how long is quick? How do you, you know, how do you identify that? Um, all right. Um, okay, let me, let me move to this last part, running late as usual. I'm going to say, I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to quit saying that and I never do. Um, okay. So really my, my point of this whole video is about writing the, atten the intention. Do we have to, uh, and do, and if we do, do we have to do it on a bay leaf? <laughs> you know, um, I don't think so. I don't think you have to write the intention uh, to burn or to drown or to throw in a water or to bury or to do whatever you want to do with it. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that you have to. I believe if you want to do it, but I do believe that if you're going to do that, whether you write it or whether you're just doing the magic and not writing it, that you better write down the specifics of your intention. That's what I believe in. And I believe in doing the work and doing the research behind what it is that you're doing. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Um, the money spell. Why don't you get a job? Why don't you babysit? Why don't you do something? You can't, can't go out, don't have a car online. You know, what just there's a plethora of reasons and things that we can do as part of the sacrifice to 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 help do that um because believe me when i first started i had a silver platter <laughs> you know i did i thought that every spell i did i was gonna get but 
That didn't happen. That didn't happen. What happened was, and I only realized this years after, I've been practicing over 30 years, and then some. <laughs> what I've learned, and I was not adept. And I, I'm probably not adept now. You know, what is adept? I know things. I know some things about some things. Um, I, I keep trying. I, I, I study every single day. Ask my friends. I study every single day. Every single day. You, There is no end to knowledge until the end, if you know what I mean. Um, I forgot what I was saying because I got so excited about that. Um, my, my, but my point was that, no, you don't have to write an intention and burn it or do all of that. And especially on a bay leaf, you don't have to. You can if you want to. Bay leaves are for um, protection. They're for purification. Um, you know, they're just like most herbs. And have you ever noticed that a lot of herbs, I mean a good majority of herbs, just like your stones, like crystals, rocks, crystals, stones. If you look, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books out there. And they all, each book will have its own property list. We have so many stones at the store. Oh, they're for protection, 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 protection. You look at our herb wall, protection, 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 protection. Because they all kind of all have this generic property you know like they all kind of do similar same thing um i think it's about the intention i use stones for specific things that if you look on on our we have little notes about what properties not all the properties because i couldn't i couldn't do it hundreds of books with different ideas on what the property of a amethyst is you know um so we just have a few little words about the amethyst but you know what if i don't like amethyst i'm not using amethyst for any of those things and if i like amethyst and i use it for this and it doesn't say that on the list who's to say that it doesn't work that way for me because every person has their own energy and their own feeling and their own ideas and of how they feel about their work. Um, yeah. So um, your intention should be your work. It should be in your work, at least. Um, and it's not just writing an intention a one or two words on on a paper or a bay leaf or whatever you want to write it on even carving it into a candle which i do i carve into my candles sometimes words sigils sigils are fabulous <laughs> a fabulous way to write your your intentional document um making sigils fantastic way because a sigil can be more than one word it can um so yeah so um magic is more than just mere intent or all of magic would work on the first time I forget where I got that but I thought that was a great way to end this video so intention it's not about the bay leaf if you don't have any bay leaves don't worry about it get a piece of paper get a sticky note <laughs> tear it in half write it on the sticky note you can burn it you can drown it you can bury it you can do whatever you want with it um, however what you need to do with it first and foremost is research your intent. Is it what is the end result and what could some of the consequences be 
if the intention manifests. So that is super important. And I cannot, I, I cannot put that on a bay leaf. I couldn't put that on a bay leaf. But this is what I wanted to say. Right? So if this was my intention and I want and I had written it all out, I could burn this. I could burn this whole thing along with my magic. But I can't just get that down to one word. Um in my opinion. In my opinion. So However, I do write sentences after I've done my work and I've chosen the keywords. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. That's it. Wow. I didn't realize that was going to take that long. I mean, seriously, I, I didn't. And I don't even have, I, we didn't even do anything. Just me yapping again. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and, you know, if, if, feel free to leave a comment if you have your own thoughts on it if you have a question or uh, something that worked for you if it's private feel free to dm me private message me dm me i don't know what dm means send me a message <laughs> um yeah i'm still not uh tech savvy so i don't edit my videos no special lighting i'm just sitting in my room with the ceiling fan overhead with the light on uh, and i got my curtains open right here um and uh so yeah, leave me a comment, send me a private message. If it's private, go ahead, send me a private message or a DM. I heard a DM, I don't know what that means, but a DM download message, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, but give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be great. And until next time, uh, have a great uh, moving forward into 24. And I will see you all next time. Uh, be safe, be kind, and as Mike would say, love ya. <laughs>